Okay, so bit of a different type of content today. I figured I'd show you guys a aim routine that's used by a lot of pros in Apex Legends that I haven't really covered before. About a year ago, I made an aim guide really explaining how to aim, different types of exercises and routines and ways you can improve on yourself to just become better at the game and, you know, just shooters in general. But I never really touched on the pure G routine, which is a pretty popular, like I said, routine with many pro players, streamers. Uh, I see it on my Twitter all the time, people discussing it and giving props to it because it is a very solid routine. I'm obviously using Kovacs for this and there's a link not to Kovacs, but to the routine in the description if you guys want to check out the explanation behind every single scenario and routine. And there's an there's a explanation behind why you do all these different scenarios. They have made very sure that you will cover every fundamental in Apex Legends using this routine. So it's very well thought out and it's very efficient. I have never played it. <laughs> so this is a bit of a blind test and I'm really looking forward to see just how it will go. So let's just jump straight into it and I'll give you guys my thoughts as we go. If you do wanna see the results of this uh, workout or rather routine or tests, uh, I will be going live on twitch.tv slash otter as soon as this video is up and you guys can come over and watch me play. And as usual, remember to smash like if you enjoyed the video, let's get into it. Pure G Apex routine, here we go, let's try it out. Oh, I had some issues, I had to restart it. It's still kind of not feeling that good. Well, okay, top 500 on Manwing's Shave Gallery. It wasn't super accurate, it's 50%, so that's a good start. Okay, so yeah, I'm sort of supposed to move at the same time, I guess, but we'll just do a little bit of it. <laughs> What's that? 600? This is really humbling. This is really humbling, guys. Not gonna lie. Especially because I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do on some of them. Is this the time when I come out and say that it's been over a month since I touched Kovex last and these routines are harder than the ones I used to do? I feel personally like my mouse control and accuracy smoothness is down compared to what it used to do. Definitely got I like when once we've done this, I should like do this routine once a day for like a week or two and then we can make like a new video and just see like how see how we've improved. I think it's gonna be really cool to just have like a so this is like an introductionary and then like in two weeks we'll make a new video and I'll be like <laughs> oh, we did it for two weeks is what happened, you know, like it's hard to show in game just how uh, Like a before and after comparison, but we'll be able to look at scores and just comparing the runs extra control sphere Okay, this one I can move. It's also a track one All this tiny dot Do I get time if I I don't Oh, it's awful <laughs> If someone in, if someone in comments know why my Kovax is like lagging, that'd be great to know. I think we're doing it. Whoa. <laughs> this one is perfect for Apex because you have like the slight teleport, which is very common with the bad servers in this game. My god. This is gonna be fun to learn. My Whoa. New high score? Top 900? Uh, I think. 400? I didn't look. I read the score, but... Popcorn goaded tracking, okay.
So tiny. This is gonna be so good for mouse control, for sure. Like these bounce ones are always like super good because of uh, verticals. These are small. And it's like a really rough vertical angle too. Top 2000. <laughs> I think I was supposed to strafe there, but I'm not exactly sure how they want me to do that. This one I can't move, so... Whoa! <sighs> this is a rough one. My boomer eyes can barely keep up with it. Holy crap. For seeing the points on this one. Uh, oh, okay. Top 3000. Yikes. I'm awful. I'm really feeling it in my wrist, though. Like my uh, hands, my, my fingers, and my wrist. I'm definitely feeling like a burn. So that's good. High ground pure. Okay. Whoa. Let's get the, get the teleport in there. Oh, this is way better. This whole routine is so much better than the one I used to do. I used to do like uh, intermediate on the Aimer 7 routine. Holy crap, this is really challenging in the right ways. Aimer 7's was kind of challenging, but I think it was a little bit too easy for me. So this one is definitely pushing, pushing new limits. I'm a bit more comfortable in this one. <laughs> oh, they got a teleporter in there. Gapayo Finn Farbots. Okay, we can move on this one, I guess. Do we wanna? I think we have to. So we can match the strafe a bit, counter strafe. As well. Because if, they want, if, if it's unlocked to move, you wanna move, alright? That felt good. Yeah. <laughs> it's top 964. Some way better ones out there. It's not even a. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> I think they probably stood still. I'm not sure how it works, so. VSS close mid long, okay. That felt pretty good. <laughs> well, it was easy, but people have done better. This is, uh, oh yeah, it's a tap one. I played this one, but it had um, slightly bigger ones. It's like the size of my crosshair. Somehow I did better on this one than some others. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Popcorn Voltaic, no reload. Oh, it's a... It's a pew-pew one. It's not terrible, but... <laughs> Damn. Alright, normal bounce 180. With strafing, without strafing, let's just go for a solid standing still run. Because we're still trying to, you know, try out the routines, so I think if we move around too much... Might screw it up a little bit. I don't know what it is with Kovacs, and it used to be so smooth, and now it's like... I'm having so many issues with frames. My PC is really good, so I'm very confused about that. But it, like... It's like, it's a micro stutters, but it, it's some input lag or something. I don't know what it is. It just feels super, super choppy. Oh. Okay, can't move. We have three shots. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. It's like a... Like that one that was crazy. Uh, shoot the cubes. That was the whole thing about that. People thought that was like the epitome of aim, that you could shoot some cubes really fast. I 
God, okay, it wasn't five minutes. <laughs> Actually smaller than my crosshair. Oh, that was it. No, it wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this is a... This is full auto. So some of them are, have more health than the others. No full auto in the building. I'm not, I'm not full auto, it's not full auto. That's not full auto? This is. That's full auto. Damn, bro. Okay. Oof. I want to say I'm like in the mid thousands, right? That, that seems to be my my rank right now, the first time I play this. Whoa. <laughs> Vox target switch smooth. If you don't do it smoothly, they will get their health back. That's really cool. I've done this one so many times, but not with this. Uh, this one is definitely focusing on smoothness and. It's not terrible. It's above the median. Uh, Alright, whoa, this is one of the new ones. That was also a hold. I have not played this map before. Really switching. Oh, because they're going different directions. Whoa. That's like, they can come in at 1.6, man. Bound CT Dodge Park. Oh, I've done this one. This one is part of my a routine I used to do. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to move, but I usually just cruise around on it. Get that max velocity move speed. Oof. Yeah, I'm not even... I guess it's been a while. All right. I feel like we have to be on the final one soon. I remember reading the guide. Okay, I had to see if I could fall off the map. You can fall off the map, guys. If someone needed to know. Don't fall off the map. You look like an idiot. And probably get points deducted. Nice, nice. Okay, this is the same. This like we got the hole in the middle. I guess he can go all the way around me. So I'll let him do that. That would suck. Oof. Bit bad at the end there. Way lower accuracy than some of these people. I guess you stop shooting when they're not on target. I just keep holding mouse one and try to adjust, which uh Okay. Did we do man wing? I feel like we did man wing strafe gallery. Let's just run it one more time. See if we have improved than I have after a full set of Kovex. Stupid frame lag does not help. Oh, new person on best, look at that. <laughs> so it definitely helps. But that was it for the Kovex Pure G routine. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know it's a bit humbling to see your favorite YouTuber, I mean, hopefully favorite YouTuber, get absolutely demolished by these high scores. Keep in mind, it's my first time, and, you know, it. nobody really starts at the top. I was. I would love to start as number one, but everyone knows it's not realistic. Um, I'm planning to do this off stream, maybe on stream, for the next one or two weeks. And then we'll make a new video, like I mentioned earlier, and we'll compare between my scores in today. And my scores in two weeks and we'll see just how much of a difference it makes score wise uh it'll be very difficult to compare it in game because the changes you see in game are very minimal but we'll probably we would probably see more squad wipes and such if this does end up improving my aim it should because i've done aim, tra aim training before but it's always nice to see some results isn't it remember to smash the like button let's hit like 500 
You know what? No, let's screw it. Let's go for a thousand likes. That'd be amazing. We've hit it two videos already, and I think we can do it again. It's always super fun to see. Um, if you want to see more of my aiming or gaming, just check me out at twitch.tv slash otter, and I'm going to be showing one of my videos somewhere around here in a little bit. Anyways, thank you for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.